Welcome back to the channel, guys. Half fast, 719. Coming back at you with the video. And no, it has nothing to do with the truck. If you watched my previous video, you know it's about these. So these little solar panels, you get them at Harbor Freight. They're like 15 bucks. Sometimes you can get them for nine bucks. Um, uh, anyway, they work really good. They keep battery. They keep batteries trickle charge topped off. Um, I checked the voltage of this battery. It's obviously in there. Um, this is my homemade little military box where I keep my controller and everything. Um, but I checked the power there. It's 12 point. 12.89 volts um, in here um, and then I had the two batteries that were on the toy hauler and I had a solar panel on here but I used those two batteries from the toy hauler to my uh, gates and those batteries were 12 point 12 point nine four 12 point something volts and then I bought another solar panel. I have it up here on the roof of the toy hauler. Oh no. What did I do? Oh, fucked up. Anyway, got in here. So we got the Audi battery in here. This is the battery for my Audi. Um, it's a massive battery. This is a... I don't know, it's a, I can't remember, an F7 battery or F9 battery. Um, anyways, it's it's pretty big, it's a pretty big battery, it's an AG, AGM battery. You know what, let me look it up, let me look it up real quick. Let me look up what I bought actually yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I bought my batteries from Pet Boys. So... Oh, it's not going to show me. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's a AGM, AMG battery. I don't know how to look up the pickup instructions, maybe. Um, got it, don't care. Let me see. Let me just look it up real quick. Oh, jeez. My back. <sighs> Dang it. Don't do that. Sorry, guys. Retarded video. I don't have that. Got it. Don't care. I don't know why it's doing this. this is... I did this yesterday. Won't let me click on anything. Because it wants my location and it tells me it's. I have to enable my stupid location to. 3550 done. This Pet Boys website is stupid. We'll do this one. Choose that location. Alright, let's go to batteries. Car batteries. It's a 2015 Audi. Some people call it. I call it an Audi. It's a Q7. And it has a 3 liter diesel. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. Probably. Alright, let's save this chunk. Alright, so I got the Bosch. There's a Bosch Premium battery. Premium whatever champion or something stupid. So there was two blue top batteries. 
Is that one? All right, so it's a uh, H7 L4 or 94R. It's an AMG battery, whatever that means, or a AGM battery. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's got four-year warranty. I think this one has a thousand. Um. The battery I bought said, so this is this is not the right one that I changed it with, because the other one had 1,020 cold cranking amps. Um, but anyways, so this battery is larger than the other battery. Um, this battery says it is 12.43. The other battery was 13.5 something. So the other battery was an inch longer than this one. And this battery was still bigger. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so I bought two of these, two more of these solar panels, that's what this video is about, and, uh, yeah, they, they work out really, really good, I like them, um, I had the ones on my toy hauler for forever, um, for probably about, I want to say five or six years, since uh, before I started the railroad, um, because the batteries I got that were on there were from uh, the window company I worked for, because um, they had they had batteries sitting out, and uh, the main the maintenance manager I'd asked him he had about six batteries out, and I said, hey, these deep cycle, what are the batteries? He's like, yeah, they're just they're just not good. They don't hold a, a consistent voltage or whatever. It was like 12.9 volts or whatever, 13 volts. And uh, he's like, yeah, they're trash. I said, well, you, you want me to take them to recycle them, you know, for the company? And he said, no. He said, no, they're just trash. And uh, so then a couple of months go by, they're still sitting there. And I asked him if I can have two for my toy hauler. And he's all, dude, take them. So I took two. And then another guy took two, and another guy took one. Um, our forklift operator over there, he took a couple uh, for his toy hauler. And uh, they're, they're good. They just weren't, I don't know what machines they had them on, but the machines had to have, it's a really precise voltage. And if it didn't have a certain voltage, it wouldn't run right, like it would glitch. Um, I'm pretty sure it's for our glass cutting machine. It's a big old huge machine, probably the size of my barn. Um, and it, I think it took four or eight of the, four or six of those batteries. I can't remember. Um, and they'd swap them out uh, usually every two years or three years. But anyway, he let me have those batteries, and they work fine. They work fine for the toy hauler starting the generator. Um, they held the voltage. They held uh, 12 volts all the time, and the solar panels, they help them hold. So, and I was also checking this battery, the voltage of this battery, and I think this is just a Walmart battery. This thing has 12.8 volts, and it's just sitting here unplugged. So, um, yeah. But that's it, guys. That's it for my little video about those little solar panels. Um, if you can get those, they're 1.5 watts, um, so it's nothing crazy. And, uh, yeah, I think they work great. I think they keep the batteries charged. Um, those batteries I used for the, for the gate, I probably opened and closed trying to get those things to, to get in their parameters. Probably about 70 times in one day and they didn't have it they didn't they didn't have a single problem they kept on uh, throwing the gate open and closed so anyway i'm gonna get back there i gotta clean the barn i guess i could park the truck in there um and i gotta clean this all right guys thanks for watching you guys let me know if you guys uh have any uh fortune with those uh solar panels they do they do come with this so you can plug them into your car uh, my brother-in-law had one, and he said he had it on his dashboard, and I think the, uh, 
the heat transfer from the windshield to the panel, back, the glare, back and forth, back and forth. He said his broke broke uh, apart, so it got real, really brittle. Um, but the one I had in a toy hauler, I've had for a very long time. I think before he even got his truck. And uh, mine was just in direct sunlight, and it's fine. You can see it's faded, but um, but yeah, he had problems with his. And uh, his is in a second gen Dodge, so maybe that's why the dashboards, maybe it's a faulty windshield. That's why the dash dashboards are always breaking on those. I, I don't know. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Later.